Why, hello everyone! Welcome back to Psychonauts on Playframe. We're still in Mia Vodello's party, learning to get our levitation badge. And we're in the room where we gotta float. I just gotta find some bubbles to float up on, so hang on. Hang on. It's a little hard to control. It's a little hard to control yourself in these little, uh, uh lanes. Here we go. Uh, okay, jump. And... Jump and if yes. You float in some areas, you might get a little more oomph than usual. Okay, where's another? Here we go. Yes, yes. Man, what fun! Just this whole level is good. Yeah. Uh, what's this do? Oh yeah, nice. Now you're going to have to use your side float again to get those rings spinning. Hmm, all right. Uh, let's see if I can jump clear across. Yep. Come on. Come on. I want to go over here first. I saw a thing. Both this figment and this thing. Aggressive capacity increased. You may store more side blast shots now. Awesome. Sweet. Okay. Now back to this. Let's see if we can do the thing. Oh, there's another one. Where is it? There we go. And ha. Yes. I'm so good at being psychic. Where's the thing? Here we go. Yeah. Oop. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Let's get in there. Yay, we win. I think. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Who's that I see? It's Rasputin, the rolling rock star in the flesh. And just in time, the party was dying without you, darling. Here, I have a little party favor for you. Yeah! We got the best power! Ah, oh, we're doing so good. So cute! Don't be a stranger, darling. Thank you, Agent Vodello. Now it's back to the lab to save Dogen. Dogen's not in the lab, sweetie. He's watching TV in the lodge with the other children. I meant the dream Dogen from my brain tumbler vision. If I can find out what's happening to him, maybe that would give me a clue about who stole real Dogen's brain. Oh, I'm afraid he's just like that. <laughs> uh, love this game. Okay, let's, uh... Let's go find some campers, because I'm betting some people have moved around now. Also, we need to go get our next ability. And... okay. Cool. Alright. Now... Is anyone still out here? I'm guessing no. The camp eventually starts getting a lot more, like, sparsely populated. As the kids all kind of congregate. Are okay, these two still doing the same old, same old? No? Hey, Bobby. Wasn't that great when I beat you in that levitation race? That was great. Hey, Bobby. Someone's stealing kids' brains. Well, in that case, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Because you've got no <laughs> brains! <laughs> hey, Bobby. <laughs> no brains! <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll move on. But now, we can move on with style and speed, which is greatly appreciated. Way easier to start getting around quickly. Mental Somewhat. Getting you down. 
I've got just the device up here in the main large store. Oh. Why don't you come on up and score yourself a cobweb dusty before they're all sold out? What's this kid's name again? Elton? Whoa. Uh, Elton. I hope you're not waiting for me. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Carry on, sailor. Ah, oh, cute. Hey, you guys want to go do something? Watch TV or something? Want to help me find Dogen's brains? They're missing. <laughs> oh, no. He's just like that. <laughs> beat Bobby in this levitation race. It was pretty cool. I got a oarsman's badge uh, so I can get us a canoe if you guys want to go canoeing. Have you guys ever jumped down these big hollow stumps they have all around camp? No? <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go back to Sasha's secret lab now. If you guys need me, that's where I'll be. Okay, um, I'm gonna <laughs> right, go back good to enough. Good enough, Raz. Lab now. All right. If you guys need me, that's where I'll be. Uh, let's go back to that TV room in the lodge. See how many kids are hanging out. Might just be Dogen. Oh, hey, those two. Let's go talk to them. Hey, right, Kitty and Frankie left. That's weird. Those guys just left all their stuff out here. Wonder what happened to them. Hmm. Let's get up on top of the roof here. Yes. <laughs> I love this ability. Uh, let's see if we can get some height here. Yep. So this is it. Yep. I'm so happy, Clem. Me too, Crystal. It's going to be great, isn't it? Super great. We're going to be so powerful, aren't we? More powerful than you can imagine. <sighs> I can't wait. What are you two up to? The sunset's beautiful, isn't it? It will be more beautiful afterwards. When we've done what we're going to do. Yes. When we finish the project. What are you two doing? The people down there look like ants, don't they? They are ants, Crystal. Cruel, cruel little ants. Oh, Clem. It's not their fault. Still gonna be sorry. Yes, that's true. They will all be sorry. Oh boy. Hey, is that Nils down there with Chloe? Whoa, that's weird. Oh man, I've got to tell Elka. What's the point? I guess soon there won't be much point to any of this, will there? Not when we finish the project. Yes. You hear about Elton and Milka? No, what? Totally a couple now. No way. I thought Elton loved Lily. Yeah. Well, and I thought Milka loved Quentin. Well, I guess if people's love was something you could trust, we wouldn't be here now, would we? Good point as always, Clem. These two are going to be supervillains. Well, are you ready? Just one more minute. Let's just watch the sun until it sets. All right. Let's let people have one last sunset before things change forever. Forever. No, but for real, what are you two doing? What are you guys doing up here? Oh, hey, Raz! Didn't see you there. We're just looking at the sunset. Shh, just wait until he leaves. It is a nice sunset, isn't it? Yes. yes. <laughs> it is a nice sunset, isn't it? Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going, I'm going. Please don't be super villains. All right. Sale now in the main store, we have a special on dream fluffs. You hear me? Dream fluffs. You know what I should do? I should go down here and buy some more Psycores, because uh, I think I could make five more and get up to level 30, and then get two abilities. That's psychicking efficiently. How are you two doing? Okay. Girl! Ooh, oh, oh! Kitty! Kitty! Kitty, you so fine, 
girl. There's so many little camp crushes going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TV. Hacky sack. Yes, hacky sack. Oh no. They're all brainless. Hi, Raz. Vernon, <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> yeah, we're great. Me and my pals Kitty and Frankie are just hanging out telling stories and watching the boob tube. TV! Vernon, look at them. They're zombies. It did seem kind of weird when they let me get this close to them. And then they didn't mind when I talked all through the show. Kitty even agreed to go on a date with me, more or less. We're gonna play hacky sack. Keep an eye on them, Vernon. I'm gonna go figure out what's causing this. Roger that, Raz. Mm. Did you ladies know one of the bloodiest battles of the Civil War was fought at Dogen? TV? Yeah, good idea. You rest here while I find your brains. Yup, it's true. It happened back when this place was still an Indian summer camp and burial ground. A group of Eugen soldiers got separated from their regiment. Night was falling, and they were cold and scared. Of Dracula. Boo. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. They were just terrified of getting shot. <laughs> Though I'm sure any of them, with any sense, were afraid of Dracula too. They stumbled across an old building. You could still see it on the far side of the lake. So they decided to spend the night there. Little did they know, it was an abandoned Indian insane asylum built on a caveman burial ground. Yup. Little did they also know that a cursed fish lived in the asylum and that he was an escaped lunatic but from a different asylum. <laughs> so even though he was actually living in an asylum, he was still counted as escaped. And what was his curse, you ask? Where his gills should have been? He had hooks. Yup, and where one of the hooks should have been? He had a lug. Yep, a lug. And instead of being about 14 inches long, he was 10 feet tall. But that wasn't the scariest thing. The scariest thing, the absolute scariest thing, and the thing that still makes the old timer's <laughs> blood turn Oh dark, my goodness. And vice versa is the part I said first about how he had hooks for <laughs> gills. Oh, burr. This is so good. Uh, anybody need a hug? Anybody? No? Okay, then. Anybody mind if I tell that story again? Speak up now if you don't want to hear it again. Here we go. Did you ladies know one of the bloodiest battles? <laughs> okay, that, all right, that's good. I just on the shore of this kudos to that voice actor because they're having some fun. All right. Hey, anything new in the store? Take a look. Whoa, Let's see. I don't think I can actually afford much, but I do need another five or so of those. Excellent choice. Um, here we'll skip this part. I'll take it. Excellent choice. What else can I do you for? It's not the best shopping experience, <laughs> admittedly. But I do have all the stuff I need, which is what matters. Let's go find some more friends. Do, 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 do. Anyone? No? Ah, okay. Hmm. Well, at the very least, I can reach this now. Heck yeah! <laughs> well, uh, let's get on down to the underground sanctuary. Yep. <laughs> In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for telekinesis. Ooh. Yeah. We're learning so fast. <laughs> Excellent. With telekinesis, we can use our minds to grasp an object and then throw it. Go ahead, try it yourself. Okay. 
Let's see here. And ha! Yes. Now and oh, good throw. Now, let's see if you can make it through the hoop. Okay. You sound like my dad. Hey, I've been thinking about that. Why'd that guy hate psychics so much? What do we ever do to him? Well, psychics killed his whole family, cursed them and all their descendants to die in water. Whoa. Yeah. Talk about baggage. Tell me about it. And the weird thing is, I'm pretty sure he's actually psychic himself. Ha! Cuckoo! Well, you can work on him when you get home. For now. Oops. Oops, it is. All right. Um, here we go. And yeah. Oh, great shot. Let's see you do that again. Come on. All righty. There you go. Bingo. Okay. Last one. Fine. Come on. I'm doing it. There we go. Fire. Now, let me show you something. Pick that trash can up and aim your toss at the side of the caravan. Okay. Bam! Kablooey! Throwing something against a wall is a little more destructive than tossing it around on the ground, isn't it? Oh no! Another one of my senses! Now how'd that get in here? Looks like we're in luck. He doesn't see you yet. Why don't you smash him on the head with that handy trash can? Come on! Use telekinesis to pick up the trash can and throw it at that sensor. You got it. Hey, catch! <laughs> Bullseye! Looks like the trash took him out. <laughs> Next lesson, we'll work on your snappy one-liners. That wasn't so bad. All right, we have a new power, and in a minute here, we'll probably have another one. So let's turn in some of these and see how many we get. Hopefully, at least five. One, two. Three, four. Ah, oh, come on. What was I short on? I guess cards. Darn, I'm so close. Yep. Uh, I'm sure with a bit more camp wandering around looking for, uh, looking for buddies. I'll find those last two cards easy. Hmm. Hey, here's some friends. Uh, let me go. What to do with small bully assistant? Geez, I don't know. Could you put him in that deadly Nelson you were talking about? Could. On such tiny opponent, all blood might drain out ear holes. Ah! Shut up, Benny! On the other hand, blood from constricted trunk could rush to tongue. And? Tongue swells, pops. Most blood drains back down throat. Interesting. Less mess that way. Mouth stuffed with giant tongue can't scream. So quieter. Shut up, Benny! You have something less drastic? Uh, could use half Deadly Nelson. What's that? Like Deadly Nelson, but less dying. How much less? Maybe half. <laughs> what happens the other half of the time? Opponent leaves. Spends the rest of short life praying for death. Hey! Can you hear me down there? Maloof? Shut up, Benny! Seriously, Maloof. I, I apologize. A call off your goon, and I'll never bother you again, ever. The thing is, Benny, you're never gonna bother me again either way. So you're gonna have to offer something a lot better than that. Like what? Any ideas, Mikhail? No one you think about giant hairless beer. No. Out of ideas. Preparing Nelson. Well, wait, wait. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, m maybe I did see something like that. Uh, give me a minute to think. You ready to talk, Benny? Hold on, it'll come to me. Ah, uh, the tables have turned, and there's a new bully in town. Hey, you guys aren't going around taking people's brains out, are you? Not yet, but uh, maybe we should do some market research on that and and see if there's a demand for that service. <laughs> this actually might be much worse than the bullies we had before. You're not going to uh kill Benny, are you? Difficult to say. How's it going, Benny? Uh, huh. what if I try levitation? Can't get a good grip. Can't get a good grip. Hmm. 
Hmm, thanks for the boost. But no, still can't see no bears from up here. <laughs> Remember to keep filling up those scavenger hunt forms. Oh, yeah. We got a couple of big promotions for the winner. How about you, Maloof? What are you trying to prove, Raz? Hmm, someone's getting big for their britches. Hey! You're lucky the boss is generous with you. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a problem in the future. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, here's some folks. You know, Chloe, for a chick whose face I can't see because she's always wearing a helmet, you're pretty cute. I'm not human, Earth Primate. But you are the girl model of whatever it is you are, right? Affirmative. At this point, that's totally close enough. Man, what smells like butt? Oh, hey, Nils. How about you and your butt and its odor take a hike before I puke? But... It'd be a real shame if you had to leave your butt here because it was anchored to my foot. Now beat it! Hi, Chloe. <laughs> How is it, uh, in, I mean, <laughs> you know, what's up and stuff? Bobby, we need to work on you a little. That's a bit true. <laughs> An odd pairing, but, you know, that might just work. Let's jump up a bit. Err, whoop, okay. Yeah, sometimes your, uh, <laughs> your trajectory can go a little wonky depending on the angle of the ground. Ooh, wonder if I can get in here. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Give me that. And... Heck yeah! That's what we needed right there. Alright. Back to Crawler. Hello. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for invisibility. Ooh. I'm sure I can find some use for that. Yeah. Neat. Okay, let's play a game. Look out, another sensor. Oh no, you're out of ammo. No, I'm not. You are now. <laughs> Here are the rules. Take this guy out. But if he sees you at all, you lose. Go get him. All right. Uh, invisible. Hey, where'd he go? And punch. Ha! Oh, well done. Now that's the power of invisibility. I think I've heard the kids around camp refer to this technique as uh, silent but deadly. Uh... Eh, close enough. All right, a new power. Fantastic. All right. Let's go see if there's anything else to do. Hey, here's somebody. A couple somebodies. I don't care how long you two have been partners. James is my boyfriend now. Do you know what that means? Uh, well, he wears his good parade chaps a lot more. Yes, he's less filthy, that's part of it. But the biggest change is that he can't possibly waste as much time as he used to hanging out with his loser friends. I don't like you. And I don't like you. So that covers everything we have in common. Now for the differences. I'm going to be with James all the time from now on. You're going to have to stay as far away from us as possible, or I'm going to make your life more miserable than I imagine it already is. Boy, oh boy. Hey, there's this whole brain-stealing thing going on that you should know about. Rasputin, not now! Alright, fine. Go get your brain stole. How about you? Chicks, tell me about it. Hey, JT. I could use a hired gun on this brain-stealing case I'm working on. Huh? Oh, sorry, Raz. I'm a little preoccupied right now. Got a lot of figuring to do. Hmm. It's true, your life is somewhat complicated at this time. Ooh, I wonder if I can get up there to the thing that I need to melt now with my fire powers. Let's see. Be a little easier doing the early parts this way. Here we go. Come on. Oh, hey, there's 
Li yeah, there's Lily. I'll check on her in a second. Uh, oh. And here we go. Yes. There we go. Now then. All the way to the bottom. Come on. And yes. Oh. Oh, here we go. Hey, you need that for my scavenger hunt. It looks like it's completely frozen in a big block of ice. Okay then. Uh, oop, wrong. Here we go. Uh, yes. Melt. Perfect. And now we have a turkey sandwich for our scavenger hunt. Perfect. Now let's go catch up with Lily. Hmm. How's it going? What are you listening to? I can't quite make it out. But something... Something coming out of those speakers reminds me of my nightmare. Hmm. What are you listening to? Oh, right. Uh... Well, it sounds like Coach. I'm gonna go check on Coach. Whoa. <laughs> Sonic physics. Yeah. All right. Coach. I have so many new powers now. Coach, out in the woods, I saw... Huh? What? Sir. We need to get a containment team in the area stat. I've spotted a UPE. A UPE? Yes. An unregistered paranormal entity. Possibly aquatic in nature. I know what a UPE is, son. I just don't know how you know. From True Psychic Tales, issue 424, sir. Where Sasha 9 fought that clairvoyant grizzly bear? Ha! <laughs> comic books this thing was real and huge and and it smelled all smelly save your fish stories for the boathouse boy now dismiss all right coach you'll never believe the stuff i've been doing listen private i am at a very critical point in my lesson plan i almost got it all put together i can't be taken off mission right now understand Yes, sir. I promise that I'll come for you when I'm ready to really unlock your brain's full potential. Now, for the last time, you are dismissed, Private! All right, all right, all right. Well, I think that's enough stalling. Let's get down to Sasha Nine's little lab and see if we can save the Dream Dogen from the dentist? Sure. Hello. You'll never believe what I've been up to. Okay. I'm a certified levitator now. Ready to roll. Hmm. I've been running some tests. It seems that the sensitive circuitry of the brain tumbler is picking up too much psychic interference to be safe. The thoughts of some other entity are interlacing with yours at a dangerous level, which explains many of the strange things you've seen. I must call off the experiments until we know more. Sasha, there's no time. I think my vision about Dogen came true. I'm worried it's gonna happen to the others if we don't get to the bottom of this quick. But we don't know where the foreign projections are coming from yet. Is there a faster way to find out than sending me in there to investigate? I make a good point. Let's dive. All right then. Into my brain we go. Is this the? Is this the one? Nope, that's the dance party. Is this the one? Yes. And where did it drop me off? Ah. Get out of here. Shoo. Uh. Which direction am I headed here?
good? Yes? I think I might be going the wrong way. I think I am going the wrong way. Stop it. Ah, jeez. Whoa, what happened? Oh, <laughs> I think the camera just got stuck on a thing. Ah, jeez. This is all the worst. Quit it, all of you. I gotta save up for that. Uh... Whatchamacallit? The magnet ability. That's the one. Huh, is that a bathtub? Kind of looks like a bathtub. But okay, there's the rabbit. Here's the tower. We're back in business. Now we just gotta get to the top of this and levitate on up. With our brand new powers! Uh, do we need to do something with this, or, um... Oh, there we go. It's hit to ride. And then... We are here. Why are you screaming? All right, I remember. Boy, there's that pesky brain. Here's a tissue. Now, don't you feel better, my dear lad? TV? Of course! Right here! And this bad tube. We'll just drop it in the old garbage chute. Now, don't you solid foods for six hours! Lily! Uh, so we're seeing, like, visions of what's happening somewhere else, because Lily's not caught. We saw her out just outside. And Dogen's already- had already lost his brain well before this, so... What we've got in here is, like, a weird vision of what has been happening somewhere else and is apparently happening to other students. TV! Yes. Very good. Uh, maybe I can... save the brain. Maybe? Cool little blueprinty looking area. Oh, it's rad. Ah, jeez. Okay. We gotta fight a tank. Eh. No, bad tank. Man, I am so smart. Ha! Soft gelatinous underbelly? Here I come. Ha! Kabam! Beat up the tank. Ah, jeez. Find cover. Hit it! Uh. Hit it? Hmm, maybe if I can hit it from, like, the side or something. Oh, there we go. Just gotta wait for it to, um, rear back, I guess. <laughs> like tanks do. Ah! Hide! Go on. Go on. Rear up. Rear up. There you go. Yeah! <laughs> Get beat up! Punch the tank's tummy. Alright. Get cover. Whew! Ah! Confusion grenades. Can't have that. Come on, rear back. Do it. Yeah! Get beat up a lot. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch! So close. Ah, oh, man. Alright, one more time. 
Bad tank. But again, cool area. It's really neat how the little question mark grenades like appear there and then kind of load into the tank. Oh, it's just presented in a visually cool way. Yeah. Whoa. Sound mixing is a little over, all over the place. <laughs> Beat up the Bray. Ah, jeez. This thing's a little intense. Okay. Maybe I can shoot it. Maybe? Nope. Eh. Beat up the brain. Oof, our health is a little low. Could use more of it. Come here. Come here. Ah, got away. That's not good. Watch it. Ah, jeez. Beat it up. Ah, crumbs. Really could use some health here. Might have to go stock up on some of those dream fluffs next time. Ah! Oh, I just bumped into it. Well, let's try that again. I do have a lot of lives, so that's fine. You don't need skill when you got lives. That's a video gaming fact. There we go. Beat it up. Get over it. There we go. Punch. We're gonna get it. Let me through. Ow. Punch, punch, punch! One or two more ought to do it. Ah, come on. Punch! There we go! Is this a nightmare? Or a plan? Or both? Wait a minute! Indeed. That's a familiar hallway. Rasputin, I'm sorry. I had to abort the experiment. Something unbelievably urgent has come up and I must leave immediately. I know! You'll never believe- Hold that thought. In a rush. Official psychonaut business. Wait! So is this! Official psychonaut, eh? You forgot your- mm. Ooh. Free door. Hey, that white room. I know. It's from Oleander's mind. I think I was in the coach's dream that whole time. Ever since I stepped through the static in the caravan, it felt funny. I knew I wasn't obsessed with meat. But Maury is. And was stealing psychic brains to arm a fleet of deadly tanks, apparently. I've got to tell Lily. She's waiting for me down by the boathouse. Down by the... water? Uh-oh. Better hurry. Yikes. We better go. Run! It's real quiet in here. Gotta meet Lily. Ooh, nighttime at camp. I wonder if anyone's still out and about. Probably not, right? It's after hours. I assume. Ah. What the heck is that? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's trying to set me on fire. Bad whatever you are. Boy, psychic animals are hazardous. Where would you like? Let's try going to uh, kids' cabins area. Take me to the kids' cabins area. With pleasure. Just to see if anyone is still wandering around. Kind of doubt it, but uh, worth poking around. Anyone still here? Hello. Eh, I'm not seeing anybody. You know, let's head back to the lodge real quick. Just to see if anyone else is in that TV room now. Hello? Boy, very dark in here. <laughs> He's still cooking. Uh, who all is watching TV here? Anyone? Oh. Everyone's gone. Hmm. Well, things are getting mysterious out here. Why don't we go ahead and call it an episode, and when we come back next week, we will go try to meet Lily down by the lake. Sound good? Y'all have yourselves a good weekend, and I'll see you on Monday for some more Psychonauts. Goodbye!